Hi crafty friends, it's Donna here from Donna is Playing Paper and I've got a set of four cards for you today that show ways that you can stretch a single stencil. And here's our hero in all its upside down glory. This stencil is called Lots and Lots of Balloons and I'm going to use it four different ways today. All four of the cards will involve some ink blending, sometimes combined with other techniques. First of all, we're going to use the stencil in multiple different places. The optimist in me thought I could get away with a couple of pieces of tape on the front. But as you can see, as I work my way down this card, I should have stuck with my tried and true method of using some tape on the back of the stencil. And I'll change to that way of attaching the card very shortly. As I ink blend, I'm overlapping my colours slightly so that I get some intermediate colours. Once I've done the first layer, I'm going to move the stencil and do the same process again. This second time around, I'm offsetting the colours very slightly so that each colour is blended a little bit higher than it was in the first layer. The difference is very subtle. You wouldn't need to bother with this if you didn't want to. The third time around, I'm going to move the stencil so that any white areas remaining will be blended over. And this time I'm going to attach it properly. Enough fiddling around. You get the idea of the blending. You don't need to see it a third time. Let's take this stencil off and reveal the finished panel. And let's quickly turn this into a card before we move on. I'm going to use this chunky happy birthday die, which is one of my all time favourites and I'm going to cut the background from white and the letters from black. Of course I've used a stitched rectangle to cut my panel and then I'm going to add the happy birthday. I've popped the happy birthday sentiment up with some spare fun foam that I had lying around my craft room. I'm trying to use up a few supplies that I have lying around. For the next card I've ink blended my panel of balloons just the once and you saw me do that at the start, so I haven't showed that again. But this time, I'm adding some glossy gel over the top of my balloons before I remove the stencil. This will give a clear, shiny look to my balloons, which I really love. Once the stencil comes off, it's important to clean up your whole workspace and the stencil before that gel has a chance to dry. Once that's done and my panel is dry, I'm going to trim my panel down to size. Have a look at that beautiful glossy shimmer. The sentiment comes from Big Sentiments 1.0 and I toyed with that big square sentiment before deciding that it covered up too many balloons and so I've gone with something a little bit smaller. I've mounted the panel onto a piece of black card that's just a smidge bigger than my balloon panel and then popped up the happy birthday sentiment, which I've cut using a tag die. I'll link to as many products as I can in the information box below. I also added just a couple of clear sequins to this card. For the next card, I've done a whole lot of masking so that I can blend a single balloon onto my card. I've mixed up the order of my rainbow a little bit and I'm putting my pink balloon at the top but because I had some blue ink still on my masking tape, I've got a lovely purple, which matches really well with the blue next to it. As I work my way down the balloons on my card, I'm replacing the tape as I need to, so that my colors don't blend together too much. And when it comes to blending the yellow, I'm starting again with clean tape, because I really want to protect my yellow and keep it nice and bright. As I blend these balloons, and it's actually sped up to eight times the speed at the moment, you can see that I'm putting the ink down a lot more heavily on the right hand side, just so that my balloons have some dimension. The sentiment comes from a little stamp set called Birthday Wishes, and I'm going to stamp just the word birthday. For the word happy, I'm using one of the ticket shaped sentiments from the Rainbow Poppy set, and I've sliced and diced that until I have just the word happy. 
I'm also adding some sequins to this. This is the clear crystal mix from Paper Rose Studio and I've just scattered those and pretty much glued them where they landed. Okay, on to our last card. Once again, I'm blending individual balloons and blending with more colour on one side than the other. Only this time, I'm making just a small cluster of three balloons in the middle of the card. For all of these cards, I've used dye inks, not pigment inks, so that the inks are slightly transparent and you can see the balloons behind. I'm just drawing on some strings freehand and then I'm going to double and then triple mount this. Orange, then white, then yellow. The sentiment comes from a brand new release from Paper Rose Studio called Happy Birthday Sentiment Sheets. And in an attempt to keep my pack nice and clean, I'm using the bottom sentiment, which was just the perfect size and says celebrate. I'm going to add a little bit of white detail to these balloons. I started with my white jelly roll pen, which I usually love for this type of detail. But because the balloons were so pale, it wasn't really standing out. And so in the end, I grabbed a Posca pen for those details. I'm going to leave you with some pictures of all four cards again. Feel free to like and to subscribe if that's your wish. Until next time, I hope that your days are fabulous and I'll be back soon with another card. Bye for now.